Okay, here's warm up 1.1. All right, we're gonna solve this equation, which means we're trying to figure out what x value is going to work here, solving for x. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is eliminate the parentheses, and I can do that by distributing the negative two. So let's see, negative two times four x would be negative eight x, and negative two times three is negative six. All right, and then we want to combine like terms, so I can combine these x terms into negative 11x. Okay, and then I'm going to, uh, I want to, uh, I still have like terms to combine, they're just on different sides of the equation. So I want to um, combine them by adding 6 to both sides, because I'm also trying to isolate the x and get that by itself. So. I can get rid of the 6 over here by adding 6 to both sides. So that will give me negative 44 on the right. And then the last thing is to divide by negative 11. And x will equal 4. And you could always test your answer out by plugging it into the original equation and seeing if it balances out. Okay, so same kind of process on this next one. I want to first uh, get rid of the parentheses by distributing the 4. Okay, and the, the, the big difference between this and problem number 1 is that I have uh, x's on both sides of the equation. But um, that's okay, so I want to combine my two x terms, they're like terms, so I'm going to have to move them both to one side or the other, it doesn't matter which side, so I could either add 4x to both sides or add 8x. I tend to want to keep the x term positive, so I'm going to choose to, um, to add 8x. Okay, those will cancel there. Now I have 4 equals 20 plus 4x, and I'll subtract 20. So 4 minus 20 is negative 16, that equals 4x, and last thing, divide by 4, and x is going to equal negative 4 then. Okay, and then our last problem here, we're going to factor out a common factor. Uh, so I'm looking at the three terms, and I'm thinking what goes into all three terms. So I'm noticing that these are all even numbers, so that means that 2 would go into them, and I'm thinking, is there anything bigger, like 4 or 6? No. 2 is the biggest number that goes into all three terms, but they also all have x's. So um, they all have at least three x's, right? So I want to factor out a 2 and an x to the third. Okay, and then I'm thinking about it like uh, distributing. I'm thinking, well, what would I have to distribute 2x to the third into to get this original trinomial? So I'm thinking I need three terms to distribute over 2x to the third times something is negative 2x to the seventh. Well, it would be negative x to the fourth, right? If you multiply these two things together, you'd add the exponents, and then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, okay? 2x to the third times something is 6x to the fourth. Well, 2 times 3 is 6 and x to the third times x would be x to the fourth. And I want to separate that from the first term with, a, with a, an addition symbol, okay? And then I'd want to change the sign again. And so I'm really just changing the sign here, so I'm multiplying by negative one, okay? And this is finished. And it's true, you could also have factored out negative two x to the third. You could have brought the negative out with the common factor. And then everything would be uh, the opposite sign. That would work too. Okay, that's it for this warm-up. See you next time.